cutting edge innovative technology joins us in person in the studio from Curiosity Robotics, who describe themselves as, quote, committed to transforming early childhood education by leveraging advanced artificial intelligence technology, close quote. Now, born from Tel Aviv University's Curiosity Lab, the company has now evolved its robotics, given the latest one a name, Aiko, if I'm saying that right, we'll find out in a minute. A child of love in Japanese, which is where the new robot is having real impact on early childhood education, from my understanding. But we are joined by Gadi Blakehart, the CEO of Curiosity Robotics, as well as uh, Filene McKenna. Thanks for joining us, your product manager. I understand you're an important operator today of the robot. And of course, Ico itself joining us in the studio here. Um, Gadi, first of all, give us a bit more on that. You know, tell us about the creation, basically the road traveled to reach this, this prototype. Thank you for having us. We started, uh, actually, Yaron Bull, our founder, uh, started it uh, together with Helen Doron, worldwide leader in the uh, language arena, mm. teaching kids already for many years all over the world, together with uh, Professor Goran Gordon, our AI expert, who is a worldwide uh, leader in looking at social robotics together with AI and curiosity and how that all of these impact on learning for kids. So beyond a technological marvel, it's, it's built with education in mind, with, with children, with psychology of children in mind. This is a really collaborative effort to produce an educational tool. Exactly, <laughs> and uh, we are lucky to have Helen Doron with us yeah. because of her pedagogy and content, which is really uh, unique, marvelous, and allow us to create this beautiful robot that actually uh, focuses on teaching kids from birth to age of five English, English, while keeping in mind that throughout those five years, 90% of the brain capabilities develops. And when learning a second first language, you have better cognitive capabilities. At these early stages. You know, exactly, yeah. that will, you will enjoy them for the rest of your life. Well, so, I feel rude ignoring our, our other guest in the studio here. On camera now, Aiko, am I saying the name right? Okay. okay. Uh, introduce me. What, give us a bit of a demo here. So, let's start with a demo. Aiko can present itself and start with some welcome song. Mm -hmm. Just give her a second. She's a little bit nervous welcome, on Aiko. first go. Sure. It's her first <laughs> And then how it goes. <laughs> you can be tough under these lights in the studio. Yeah. They are very hot, yes. <laughs> I mean, first of all, the face is striking, as it is. It's, it's, there's just something endearing about this, just first glance. You know, I've seen other iterations of innovative robotics that have a bit of eerie edge to them. This is clearly made for children, and it doesn't carry that. This is endearing. It's, it's cute, you know, to say the least. Uh, you know, obviously, a lot went into that. Our uh, team developed the, the face and the rest of the features that allow it to be cute and five, <laughs> and, and it, with the... Um, personality of five years old okay. child in order for, to, for the kids to feel comfortable while interacting with it. A friend, almost like a, like a companion. Ex exactly. Okay. exactly. Versus a teacher or just another tablet in front of them or computer screen, okay. But there is a big screen here. I mean, this is the, the face. In other words, this is the connection, you know, that, that forms with the child. Is this, there's a screen. I mean, look, I know that resonates with my own children. You put the screen in front of them, it draws their eyes, but this is, it's got more to it. Totally, because it can move around, move with the hands, point, look at the head of who's speaking, smile. And he's all about motion and emotion. And this is the big difference. I see, well, still warm. Behind it, we have our AI, which allows us to do mainly two things. Personalize the effectiveness of the learning and personalize the fun experience itself because our Holy Grail is long-term engagement with the toddler. And for that, it should be fun, fun, fun. Now, we're hearing a lot about artificial intelligence these days. Tell us about, you know, what's new in this that, like, you know, we haven't seen in, in other robots, especially those meant for children. This is utilizing, it's reacting, in other words, to the kids quite a bit? Exactly. It reacts to the kids. And through what we see in the camera and here in the microphone, we can personalize the learning and the fun experience. And Japan so far has been the big test case, the big test arena, so to say. The Japanese are liking this so far. I think, yes, you're totally right. Both in Japan, also in Taiwan, South Korea, we can see that they're 
investing a lot in toddlers' education. They love social robot, and they are really focused on learning English at a young, young age. Is there uh, plans for expansion in other countries? You know, looking to see this model. I know it's got kind of a Japanese name, but what else? You know, what's next? Essentially, we will start in Taiwan, and thereafter in Japan and South Korea. Uh, Via Pauline will enter Europe huh. as the head of the spear. Thereafter, Germany, and of course, Israel. It's our home base. Right. So we'll do everything to support the latest Israeli here. innovation. So now a little, a little shy, a little stage shy, huh? Today, all right. A little well. stage shy, yes. <laughs> well, it, it is, it is a cute device. The, the face makes me want to be its friend. So I, I think you know, the reaction from children would be no, no surprise. This would be something that certainly my kids would gravitate towards, probably get their hands all over. So I, I see it's built fairly sturdy for that. Um, totally. But, uh, Exciting to see it. Exciting it's to see it. It's manufactured by uh, NUA Robotics in Taiwan, worldwide uh, experts. And uh, it's. We, we, we gave the toddlers to play with it and they tried to tear it apart <laughs> yeah. and it's. Tear the arms off? They really tried hard happen. to. And it, <laughs> as you can see, it's still working. Well, Aiko, nice to meet you, of course. Thanks for being here. And if, uh, uh, Curiosity Robotics, we know you're out to affect young children around the world. This is an important mission, and appreciate you both being here. And, of course, um, stay tuned on if this uh, little guy decides to wake up or not. <laughs>